verses that prove that not all of the Bible is the Word of God, part one. No right-thinking person can believe that these biblical verses have anything to do with God at all. Exodus 11.15 and 12.12 God said, At midnight I will pass through Egypt and will strike down every firstborn son from the firstborn son of the Pharaoh to the firstborn son of the slave. Leviticus 19.20-21 God says, If a man sleeps with a woman who is a slave girl, engaged to be married, but who hasn't been given her freedom yet, then if he kills a sheep, his sin will be forgiven. Leviticus 21.9 God says, If a priest's daughter becomes a sex worker, she must be burned to death. Deuteronomy 21.18 If a man has a stubborn and a rebellious son, his parents are to take him to the men of the city and they shall stone him to death. Leviticus 21.16 God says, No one who has a defect may come near to God's altar, not the blind, the lame, the disfigured or deformed, not with a crippled hand or foot, or who is hunchbacked or dwarfed or who has an eye defect. They must not go near or approach the altar and desecrate it. Leviticus 26.27 God says, If you are hostile towards me, I will punish you. You will eat the flesh of your sons and your daughters. Deuteronomy 2, 33 to 34. God delivered the king and his army to us, and we struck him down and his army and took all his towns and completely destroyed them. Men, women and children, we left no survivors. Deuteronomy 13, 6 to 9. If your very own brother or your son, or daughter, or the wife you love, or your closest friend says, let us go and worship other gods. Then show them no pity. You must certainly put them to death, your hand being the first to stone them to death. Deuteronomy 21, 18 to 21. When you in war take a beautiful woman prisoner, you can shave her head and take her as your wife, but then if you're not pleased with her, you can't sell her as a slave because you've had sex with her, but, but you can just let her go. God is not associated with, nor did God say, any of these things. They are what men mistakenly have written, and they are not the word of God. <laughs>